is what you're gonna put priorities to. Okay. Your to-do list is what you're gonna put priorities to. Your calendar is what you're gonna schedule what your to-do list is gonna look like. Okay. Right, so your calendar gives you direction for the day. Mm -hmm. Your to-do list gives you direction as to how you're gonna execute your activities for the day. Okay. And the the priorities it's like top top three, right? Just three priorities. I always tell always tell Philip plan six, six. things a day and nothing so, more. Six. Okay. Yeah. Now those things can end up being one okay. or they could be nine <clears throat> because you saved so much time and finished those six completely mm -hmm. and now you have three here that you're like, Oh I can do this and you knock them out. Yes sir. Right. Say, for example, you had to make 25 phone calls today and you made 25 phone calls in 25 minutes, but you had scheduled 45 minutes. So you go to your mm, next activity. Or you're like, okay, let me make more phone calls until my 45 minutes are up. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I have a, maybe an example. So an example, let's say P2 would be like getting on a CRM. And then the to-do list under the CRM would be like, uh, send emails, call clients, like, is that what you mean? Like, yes, that would be your to-do list, right? Like, you know, when I get to the CRM, I know what I want to do. Right. But it's in your head, it's not right. on paper. Exactly. And so sometimes when you're executing something is in your head, you 